Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing Gears of War Judgment, and this is my three stars to classified insane difficulty guide and walkthrough. We're currently on Act 6 6. It is entitled Great Staircase. And the declassified on this is that um, you have a time limit before the ammo dump explodes. You have six minutes. And even though I had over a minute after uh, everything was said and done over here, I often would be sprinting to the end with like hardly any seconds left. So it's a very strict time limit. What I would recommend is to uh, seal this hold just like that. However, I am going to be bringing this weapon into the next stage um, with full ammunition. So what I did was, um, after I did this, I went back to this chapter and, and picked this weapon up. There's a grenade, a grenade hole down here. And um, it should be noted, though, that if you are bringing such as like a shot off shotgun into this stage or anything like that, if you set it down after the cutscene that just happened, which I trimmed out, um, it's going to despawn. So uh, you make, make sure you hold on to uh, anything that you want to preserve through that checkpoint. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. And this is uh, it's it's a really difficult mission. Uh, so I wanted to uh, to do like a, a, a two-part commentary for this. Uh, up here you can get hit by Cantus's ink grenades if there are any uh, Cantus's. But since this, this, this is the penultimate chapter, uh, I did want to talk about the final boss because it is a fairly brief video, even though it did take me, uh, drum roll, 17 hours to do this fucking boss. And um, you really need to decide what you want. Now in the last video I mentioned that I was going to be bringing the sod off to the final boss and I did do that for a while and it was helpful to uh, kill ragers who were coming at me um, but I found that it, it just wasn't it just wasn't working with the, with the sawed off I, I needed something with range um, so ultimately what I bring to 6-7 will be the lancer uh, the boom shot and uh, full frags full boom shot and uh, that's not going to be represented at the end of this video, mind you. Okay, I, I, I just, I have this video and it was hard enough. This is hard. This mission is really fucking hard. I hate this mission. Uh, I hate the cutscene too that you have to watch every time on this. Um, do you see where I'm aiming right about now? There's a, a grub hole that spawns in the distance over there. It's really hard to hit. And the, the grub hole that I was aiming at uh, over to the left a little while ago before the cutscene... Um, I don't actually know if I hit that ultimately um, but you've got some scorchers coming over here and let's just talk about the final boss because there's a lot of weapons on the final boss stage um, one of the most helpful weapons is the Marksa um, but there is no way to carry a Marksa into the final boss stage if you are going through honestly on declassified insane um, unless you are backtracking levels and not doing the declassified and at the beginning of the walkthrough I said that I was not going to do that and I did not do that um, I think I do pick up a marks on the final boss but this final boss is, is so egregious so difficult um, Gears of War 3 boss final boss took me 17 hours this one took me 12 you know and, and even if I overestimated a little bit 11 you know, 10 hours, that's still way too long. Uh, it's just a clusterfuck. It's a huge... There's a point at which Baird says, I thought this was going to be a fair fight. He took the words right out of my mouth. It, it's not a fair fight. There's no checkpoints. Um, there's there's things that hit you from everywhere. Uh, it, it's so hard to, to get everything to work. And if you... Uh, if you take a look on YouTube, there's not many people that have gone through and done Declassified Insane... Um, without using like co-op or anything like that, I never use co-op on my walkthroughs. I've never used I've never used co-op in the first place ever, or multiplayer. So I don't um, I don't even know if you could see if somebody was doing that. But it is this full guide has been just me playing the game, um, and damn, just damn, 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 damn the final boss. It was it's just hell. It's hell. So what's the big deal about bringing the tripwire crossbow? Uh, well, I like bringing it because it does give you something to do while you're waiting for the final boss to uh, uh, bring out his uh, grenade launcher. Because he does have guns that he shoots at you, but even though your reticle will turn red on the guns, you're not going to be dealing him damage until he stops firing his guns. They overheat, and uh, and then you hit his um, 
grenade launcher. That's when you deal damage. Okay, so again, I'm bringing, if you want to follow exactly what I'm doing, I've got the boom shot full out, the uh, tripwire crossbow full, and the um, lancer full, and four grenades. It's not represented here, but do you see this time limit I had over a minute here? But there would be so many times where I was sprinting to the end here with less than five seconds left. It's just an anomaly. It doesn't make any sense. Very strange. Okay, that has been the penultimate chapter. I will see you in the final chapter. And until then, please take care.